I want to give you permission to lower the bar. Not usually what you hear from a life coach, not usually what you hear from a teacher, but that's exactly what I want you to hear today. With 2021, I want to give you permission to lower the bar, to lower the standard for how you show up, for how you accomplish what it is you want to accomplish. And I want you to stay focused on just continuing to show up in whatever capacity and form that you can for the dreams and the desires and the goals that are on your heart this year. Hola, mis amigos, mis amores. Hola, friends. Hi, amigos. Yo soy Nikki de Nikki Bannister Language Coaching. Y estoy aquí para el episodio 84. 84 de Spanish Saturday. Welcome, bienvenido. I'm Nikki of Nikki Bannister Language Coaching, here to bring you episode 84 of Spanish Saturday. And this is our New Year's episode. This is the first episode of 2021. Bienvenido al primer episodio de este nuevo, nuevo año de 2021. Yo tengo un nuevo fondo detrás de mí. I have a new background. Now it's hard to tell because you only ever get the bottom of this map uh, when I'm filming these episodes because I like to have the camera nice and close. I can see your comments. You can see my face. Quiero que me puedas ver uh, la cara y yo que yo puedo ver uh, los comentarios y todo. Pero detrás de mí en el fondo es un, es un nuevo fondo, es un nuevo mapa que yo tengo que quiero mostrarles. Entonces mira... Check out this amazing new map that I have. So behind me, when I first started, my very first episodes of Spanish Saturday, I did uh, when I did in-person classes, I did in-person language classes out of my office in, out of my classroom in Santa Rosa and in California. And so uh, I did my first episodes of Spanish Saturday. Oops, my first episodes of Spanish Saturday were out of my office in Santa Rosa. And then los primeros episodios que yo hice en nunca de, uh, de, ese, de esta serie de Spanish Saturday estuvieron uh, desde mi oficina en Santa Rosa, California, porque yo tenía, yo ofrecí clases en persona todavía en este tiempo, clases de inglés y de español. Entonces los primeros episodios de Spanish Saturday estuvieron en mi oficina de Santa Rosa, uh, pero uh, hace... Oh, okay. Hace cuánto tiempo? Hace un año y medio. Hace dos años uh, me convertí a ofrecer uh, mis clases en línea. Hace un año y medio yo ofrecí únicamente mis clases y mis servicios en línea. So I went totally online with my business. Uh, I, I started offering online classes two years ago and I went totally online a year and a half ago. And then I renovated my home office. I got a new home office at the beginning of 2020. So it's been about a year, uh, still a little less than a year that I've been in my new home office. Este es mi nueva oficina que yo renové en mi, uh, en mi hogar. Es mi oficina en mi hogar. Uh, and behind me on the wall, I have had a tapestry of the world of the world map in, um, in my logo colors in different blues. And this year, I have just finished putting this map up. This is an amazing hand-carved map that um, I bought from a company called Enjoy the Wood. And they hand carved this map. It's totally accurate and labeled. And I stuck it up piece by piece onto my wall. And that's my new filming background for all of my classes. And a little bit for these episodes of Spanish Saturday. Entonces, esto es mi nuevo fondo que yo hice. Yo compré el mapa que está uh, hecho de madera. Y yo la, el, lo compré de una compañía que se llama Enjoy the Wood. Es una familia que hace mapas y diferentes cosas de madera desde su hogar en Ukraine. Uh, y yo uh, lo puse en uh, la pared pedazo, pedacito por pedazo. Uh, este fin de semana uh, todavía me falta unas islas en 
el Caribe. Puedes ver que hay unas islas uh, faltando en el mar Caribe todavía porque uh, se agotó la cinta. So, I'm almost finished with this map. I've been working on it all weekend. It was a Christmas present to myself, uh, but I'm missing just a couple islands from the Caribbean. You can tell that they're missing, and they're only missing because I ran out of tape. So, there are a couple things that I still need to put on, like this compass is going to go up on the map um and a few other cool things once uh more tape gets here on monday uh all right that was that was a highlight from my from my holidays i've been really enjoying this what's going on with you how's your week been como estas como te va la semana esto fue uno de mis proyectos de esta semana pero como estas como va tu semana in this episode, I really I think it's a perfect time. We're starting a new year. It is a perfect time to give a reminder not to let perfection of any kind get in the way of progress. For example, <laughs> for example, last night on Saturday, when I normally do my Spanish Saturday episodes, I was working on this map project and it wasn't done and I wanted it to be done before I did the episode of Spanish Saturday because I wanted to show you. Also, I looked like a mess and I didn't really want to go on camera and I think it's important to give ourselves a little bit of grace sometimes that, uh, that we can take time off when we need to and when we're really not feeling it, it's okay to give ourselves a break and whatnot. So I did that and so we're doing Spanish Saturday on Sunday today. Entonces, hoy es el, el no es el sábado, aunque este es un episodio de Spanish Saturday, hoy es el domingo porque ayer por la noche yo estaba trabajando en este proyecto y uh, no estaba terminada y quería que este quería que estuviera terminada para mostrarles a todos y también yo uh, yo fui un caos mi no me había arreglado lado ayer y todo esto y tampoco me he arreglado hoy pero me importó ayer y pienso que es importante tener gracia en estas aires no que que podemos darnos la gracia para para darnos el tiempo libre cuando lo necesitamos pero lo que quiero de lo que quiero hablar hoy es un recordatorio importante cuando empezamos un nuevo año y eso es no dejar que la perfección de cualquier nivel impide no dejar que la perfección impida el progreso en nuestras vidas oh y quería mostrarles algo pero Creo que no está listo. Necesito hacer algo diferente. Uh, so I actually, that reminds me that I actually wanted to show you something, but I'll show you next. I'll show you in our next episode of Spanish Saturday. It'll be good then. Uh, as we start the new year, we set resolutions. Uh, some of us just, uh, you know, without setting, I don't set resolutions. I do make a vision board. That's what I will show you next in our next episode. And I actually want to show you my vision board from 2020, from last year, and talk a little bit about that. And then my new vision board, which I am is going to work on tonight, which I'm still in the process of making uh, for 2021, and to talk about what a vision board is. Whatever it is, what do you like? Like to do for the new year? Do you have any kind of traditions? Do you like to set resolutions? Do you like to do a vision board? Uh, or do you like to pick a word for your year um, or a Bible verse, something that's going to kind of guide you and set the tone and set the energy for your year? I've been reading about that. I think that's getting more trendy that people are setting a word for how they want the year to feel to them. And I've been thinking around that and I couldn't narrow it down to just one word, but I've been tossing it, I've been tossing it around up here. I've been playing with that. So what do you like to do? What are your traditions for the new year? I know that I have certainly been enjoying just the the new energy that comes along with the holidays, that comes along with taking some time off, certainly. But it feels like there's it's a new year and there's a new energy. 2020 was so tough. It's nice to have a new year up on the calendar. It's nice to write a new year in my daily journal. It's, it's nice to be in the energy of 2021, at least so far, right? Okay, so what do you like to do? What are your New Year's traditions? 
¿Cuáles son las tradiciones que tienes en el nuevo año? ¿Haces resoluciones o uh, te gusta hacer el uh, vision board, uh, crear una, una, una pantalla o un, un proyecto de arte uh, con tu visión? ¿Quieres escoger una palabra que describe uh, una palabra o un versículo que que pone el, la energía, que, que tiene el, el tono, que pone la energía para tu año. ¿Cuáles son las tradiciones que te gusta hacer en el nuevo año? Uh, para mí yo no hago resoluciones, pero me gusta hacer este proyecto del Vision Board y es algo que yo he, he hecho por años. A veces, ¿no? Había unos años en que pues no tenía ganas y no hice, pero por más o menos siete, creo, quizás más años, yo he hecho un nuevo vision board para cada año y yo quiero mostrarles para el próximo episodio mi vision board, uh, el proyecto que yo hice para el previo año y cómo es, cómo es diferente que mi, uh, que mi visión para este año y cómo yo puedo reflejar y reflexionar en uh, mi mi proyecto de 2020. Pero ¿cuáles son tus tradiciones para el nuevo año? ¿Qué te gusta hacer? Ah, algo más que, te, que me gusta hacer que te voy a invitar a participar conmigo al final de este episodio. Entonces no olvides esto. So I will also invite you to join me in one more New Year's activity at the end of today's episode. But first, I just want to talk a little bit more about this idea, give you this reminder and give you permission to move forward with your new year, to move forward in the new energy of 2021, to move forward with your hopes and your dreams and your goals for this year without the idea of perfection, without setting any kind of standard that is going to actually keep you from showing up for your goals. Entonces, antes de, uh, de, de darte esta invitación especial al final del episodio, yo quería hablar un poco más de, de la idea de no dejar que la perfección, que no dejar que un estándar alto te prohíbe, te impida, de, te prohíba, te impida de, de, de hacer progreso, de alcanzar, in, uh, de alcanzar in tus metas, en tus sueños, en tu visión, para este año. Y esto, esto, esta idea me chocó de nuevo uh, durante uh, una reunión de mi club de libros esta noche. Uh, para ser honesta, es como yo recordé de nuevo la importancia de esta idea. Porque los otros miembros del grupo de Club de Libros me dijo, pues Nikki, tú has hecho, tú, tú has puesto un estándar alto en, en el tipo, en la energía, en la preparación para las reuniones. Y nosotros sí queremos participar, queremos tomar turnos de, de facilitar las reuniones, pero no, no, no podemos alcanzar a este nivel, a este estándar que tú has puesto. Entonces, queremos tener el permiso, por favor, de, de bajar el estándar. Y yo pensé, pues sí, perfecto. Porque el, el, el propósito del Club de Libros es, es hablar y es... es es, es trabajar en contra del racismo. Es, es, un, es un club de libros unido en contra del racismo. Entonces, el trabajo que queremos hacer es muy importante. Y no tiene nada de sentido si paramos de hacer, si paramos de unirnos, si paramos de hacer el trabajo, porque el estándar de cómo vamos a hacer el trabajo es demasiado alto. ¿Me explico? So, this idea... Sorry, that was kind of a long one. Let's switch modes here. This idea of not letting perfection, of not letting a high standard keep you from making progress on the work, keep you from showing up to do the work, is actually something that hit me again um, while I was uh, in a 
a book club meeting earlier today. Now this is a book club that I joined and, and helped lead um, along with a good friend of mine and the point of our book club is actually it's an anti-racist book club. So it's about educating ourselves, it's about finding action, it's about, in fact we talked about that today, what is it about? And it's about being more anti-racist and dismantling racism and all that that entails. It's a lofty goal, but that's the purpose of our book club. And we were meeting and we were talking about the idea of shared responsibility and leadership and the other members of the group said, yeah, absolutely. We want to, you know, we want to help out. We want to help lead, but, but you as a leader have set such a high standard for how we meet and for what the preparation looks like and how the meetings run that it you know it might keep us from wanting to do that so can we have permission to actually lower the bar here so that we feel like we can step in and do more because we don't think we can meet the standard that you've set and that reminded me and this is what we closed our book club meeting with today was the idea that you know, the work that we're doing, the goals that we have, the dreams that we've set, the thing we're trying to accomplish is so important. And that's actually what matters. That's actually what's most important, right? Whatever that goal is, whatever that dream is, whatever that vision is, that's the thing that matters. That's the thing that's important. The how that we accomplish it is secondary. The how is secondary to the importance of the goal and the work. And if we let a certain standard. It might be perfection, but it might just be a high standard. It might be whatever we think is worthy of the goal. If we let that standard keep us from showing up, then we are totally losing out. We're not going to accomplish the thing. The world is not going to get the benefit of what happens when we accomplish the thing. And so I want to give you permission to lower the bar. Not usually what you hear from a life coach, not usually what you hear from a teacher, but that's exactly what I want you to hear today. With 2021, I want to give you permission to lower the bar, to lower the standard for how you show up, for how you accomplish what it is you want to accomplish. And I want you to stay focused on just continuing to show up in whatever capacity and form that you can for the dreams and the desires and the goals that are on your heart this year. Because that is truly what matters. And it matters that you accomplish it because your life is gonna change, but it also matters that you accomplish it and that you stay focused on that because other lives are going to change when you do. So keep showing up, keep showing up imperfectly, keep showing up with a low bar and let's get the work done. Let's accomplish those desires, let's accomplish those goals, let's chase those dreams, let's do it, let's get after it and let's enjoy it this year with a completely wide open approach to how we do it as long as we just keep showing up and stay focused on that. Stay focused on what matters. Entonces, quiero darte el permiso que quizás lo más necesitas hoy. Quiero darte el permiso con todas las metas, los sueños, las visiones, los deseos que tienes para este año, para tu vida, para cambiar tu vida, para cambiar a ti mismo, para, para lo que sea, para este año, para el 2021. Quiero darte el permiso que necesitas, darte la permisión para bajar el estándar que tienes para cómo alcances, para cómo alcanzas la meta, el sueño, la visión. Quiero darte la permisión para bajar tu estándar para que puedes seguir estando presente para el trabajo, para que puedas seguir alcanzando para que puedas seguir, no importa si tienes mucha energía o poco, no importa si te sientes listo o no, no, no importa si te sientas preparado o no, no importa en cualquier forma o manera que puedas, que puedes seguir 
en el camino hacia lo que es lo más importante, en el camino hacia la meta, la visión, el sueño, el deseo que tienes para este año. No solo porque esto, alcanzar, lograr este, esta meta, este sueño va a cambiarte la vida, no solo porque va a cambiarte la vida, pero también porque cuando logras este, esta meta, esta visión, yo sé que va a cambiar la vida de mucho más, de mucha gente. Cuando tú alcanzas, cuando tú logras tus metas, tus metas, tus deseos en, este, en esta vida, en este año. Ok, so you have permission to lower the bar this year. Tienes mi permisión, tienes toda la permisión que necesitas, tienes todo el permiso para bajar el estándar, para seguir siempre alcanzando las metas y los sueños que tienes para este año. Keep going after what is truly important this year in whatever form you can. Don't let perfection be the enemy of progress. Don't let a high standard, any, any kind of standard, keep you from showing up and going after it. Excellent. Now, one other tradition that I have in the new year is to write the story, you've heard me talk about this, I believe it was episode 80, maybe 81, to write the story of this year, but not just the story of this year, but to write the best possible version, the story of my best possible life in 2021, to write the story of this year. Right now, while we're at the beginning of the year, I'm gonna write the story from the perspective of December 31st, 2021, looking back on this year. So I'm gonna write the story in reverse, write the story reflecting on this year as though the best possible version of 2021 has already happened for me. And this is my special invitation to you. Entonces, esta es mi invitación especial para ti esta semana. Que una de mis otras tradiciones que me gusta hacer durante el nuevo año es escribir la historia de el nuevo año. Pero, y yo he hablado de esto antes, en el episodio 80, 81, yo creo. Puedes ver otra vez. Yo he hablado de esto, que me gusta escribir la historia de este año, pero con unas condiciones. No solo voy a escribir la historia de este año, pero voy a escribir la, la mejor versión, la mejor versión de este año que puede existir, que puede inventar. Y lo voy, la voy a escribir desde la perspectiva del final, del fin de este año, de, de 30, del 31 de diciembre de 2021, como si yo fuera, como si yo estuviera reflexionando en mi año y todo lo que logré en la mejor versión posible de 2021 en mi vida. Y esta es mi invitación especial. Quiero invitarte a escribir tu historia y compartirla conmigo en una sesión especial en vivo. Entonces, si te gustaría hacer esto conmigo, si te gustaría trabajar en tu historia, escribir tu historia, hablar, compartir parte de tu historia y hacer esto en vivo con mí, uh, conmigo, con mis amigos, entonces, uh, Dame, por favor, ¿qué dije? Yo uh, dije, uh, dame un emoji en los comentarios. Dame un emoji con los ojos estre de estrellas o de cualquier otro emoji que muestra tu, tu emoción para este evento. Y yo te invito a una sesión de planificación del año de escribir esta escritura especial creativa para escribir tu historia, la mejor versión posible de este año conmigo. So, that is my special invitation for you. If you would like to participate in writing the 
best possible version of your year in reverse live with me. I am going to be making this a live event and offering it to you, to my friends, to my clients, to my students, to all participate. You can be writing your story in your first or your second language as required. There are no language skills required beyond your native language for this event. But if you would like to participate in writing your 2021 best life story with me, then I would like to invite you to do that. I will be helping you where you get stuck, where you might need some coaching, some prompts to help you move forward in creating it. I will be inviting you to share whatever you feel comfortable with. I will be sharing my story with you and we will be doing this together live. So uh, if you'd like to join me for this, drop me an emoji with the star eyes or another emoji that shows your excitement for the project and let's write our best story for 2021 together in a very special New Year's event. Writing your best life story for 2021. Drop me an emoji in the comments if you would like to receive an invitation to do this with me live and I will see you there and I will see we'll be doing this in the next week or two we'll pick the day the time um, that works for most people and you will be invited to join me live and if you miss it you can join me in the replay as long as you drop me an emoji and make sure that you get your invite so I hope you can join me I hope you are enjoying a fabulous start to 2021 you have permission to lower the bar. I will see you in our next episode, episode 85 of Spanish Saturday, next Saturday, hopefully. <laughs> Entonces nos vemos en el próximo episodio, episodio 85 de Spanish Saturday, probablemente el próximo sábado, pero a veces no sabe, puede ser el próximo domingo, vamos a ver. Ojalá el próximo sábado. Nos vemos en el próximo episodio. Que tengas un fantástico comienzo a tu nuevo año 2021. Tienes el permiso para bajar el estándar. Solo importa que sigas alcanzando hacia tu meta. Muy bien. Buenas noches, mis amigos. Good night, friends.